coming to you live from Wind of Storm 2021 at the American Contractor stage. Check it out, American Contractor Show. Back here on the American Contractor stage, here at Wind the Storm 2021, with uh, some good friends of ours and Nathan. <laughs> Come on. Good friends I can't and help that. Yeah. Nathan. And, uh, I'm just Nathan. kidding, buddy. You know I love you. Um, <laughs> it's so good to have you guys with us today. Uh, we got Reggie Brock and uh, Greg Bloom from Beacon Building Products. How you doing? Uh, you guys are the the big ones, right? When it comes uh, to like supply houses, yeah, we're, we hold pretty, our own. Pretty big, yeah, yeah. You we guys, hold our own. you guys yeah. do pretty good. <laughs> so, I mean, everyone knows who Beacon is and what you guys are doing, and you guys are just really paving the way for a lot of stuff. But yeah, we're Beacon Building Products now. We change, you know, we rebranded. That's right. So we were Beacon Roofing Supply forever. Right. So now we're Beacon Building Products. All our buildings are getting redone, and all our trucks are getting redone and renamed, and so it's been good. Does that represent a difference in business model or offerings? No, no, just because we just had all these brands. We had f over 40 brands of, right. of distribution, so whether it was Roof Depot or Allied or RSG or, you know, you name it, Shelter, we had West End, we had all these names, and we're now one one brand, Beacon Building Products. It's well, great. congrats. That makes it a lot easier, right? A lot easier. It it's really easy for our customers. I mean, really, because it was very confusing. Right. You know, wait, now, who do I pay? Do I write my check out to RSG or do I write my check out to Beacon Roofing Supply? Right. I mean, right? So. No, it's, that's, that's really the case because you guys have done a lot of acquisitions over the last few years, and that's been, yeah. I'm, sure, uh, I'm sure, a good thing and probably in some ways not, not such a good thing. But well, after a, a the pain. Allied acquisition, we took a pause. Okay. And so we really, we, we, we had a, we that did was a, heavy. We, we, we acquired a, uh, a waterproofing uh, business, uh, two of them. And that's really most of what we've done. And then uh, the Allied Interior Division was divested to uh, Foundation Building Materials. Okay, to the, cool. Actually, to the private equity company that bought both Foundation Building Materials and Allied Interior Products. It sounds complex. It is complex, but it, it was it was it was <laughs> the right move. Um, it also uh, you know helped Beacon in many other ways as well financially. That's cool. Please well, great. Um, the real question though that I got, and I think everybody here has, is. You got any shingles? <laughs> like, can I? What can we get? <laughs> we'll see what they look like. I don't know. Do you have shingles? <laughs> I don't know. Let me we check. Love to Let have me go. Some. I may have. I may have a bundle or two. No, <laughs> Let's see what we can do with them. It's yes, we have shingles. We're, we're holding our own. Um, you know, our inventories are not fat by any stretch, but we're holding our own. Uh, but this is unprecedented. I, I go back to the only thing I can remember that was even close, and it really wasn't close, was the polyisocyanurate shortage of. 1988 89 it was terrible you just couldn't you were only getting x amount of trucks across the country of, of roof insulation and literally i was running the commercial roofing division for allied at the time in new york and new jersey and i was in charge of doling out the allocation for the entire country for allied so if we got 25 trucks of insulation a week i had to literally play god it was crazy but <laughs> This not is, a bad way to rack up some bribes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but this is worse. This is worse. This because is worse. It's not huh? just shingles. Yeah. It's, it's shingles. It's the accessories that go with the shingles. It's vinyl siding. It's, it's you know OSB. raw materials. I mean, everything. Right. Oh, I mean the the, the lumber situation it's is crazy. Drastic, in my opinion. It's also tragic. It's a shame what's going on. You just can't keep up. It's it's going up weekly. And the storms and the weather aren't stopping either. Tornadoes and like flooding and yeah. you know and, and people don't like either don't have the materials, or the materials are just through the roof, yep. and trying contractors and insurance companies and yep. manufacturers, suppliers, all trying to keep up with these cost shifts. Yep. Well, well yeah. Re Reggie deal does business with, obviously, many contractors that work all over the country. What, yeah, you know? well, I mean, there's really two things you have to consider in a time like this that you can't control. What can you control, right? And so there's really something at Beacon we're really focused on, and it's, <laughs> what I really refer to is bringing value beyond the commodity we sell. Now think about that. Yeah. So what value can we bring our customers beyond just the price and beyond just the limitations that we have right now? And I think that's kind of re helping us to re-engineer our relationship with our customers. And it's a big deal. And the other thing is what 
can we help drive in terms of efficiencies to our contractors? Yeah. And technology is a huge piece of Beacon's life right now. We're doing things that are really cutting edge and doing things that are creating efficiencies and effectiveness, cost savings to our contractors through the use of technology. And we're really leading the pack in that. And so no our contractors coming to us going like, hey, they're not just beating us up for price or they're not just beating us up because they sense value past the sale of the commodity. And that's a huge deal during a time like this. Yeah, and that makes a big difference because you have to. No doubt. I mean, you got to give contractors tools to help them, you know, survive this this weird bump in the road yeah. right now, um, and it's something that I think will be. We'll get through this. Oh yeah. I mean, every every we we were just at the Atlas plant a few few weeks ago, and you know they were talking about how this is the lowest they've ever had as far as inventory goes. Yeah, and, sure. I'm surprised I mean, they even have any. Yeah. I mean, we <laughs> were walking around there. Comes and off I was the like, line, I think is probably shipping out, right? That's what they were saying. Yeah, they were shipping yeah. stuff out like crazy, and it was pretty wild to see how much how low it really was and i mean i don't spend too much time in plants but i've been in some plants and you know they're trying to get things up as yep. quick as they can yep. i think once they get their new lines going as far as every manufacturer that, that, that'll help well the forecast for for the uh roofing shingle industry is it's a it's a it's an entity called arma that that ma ma not only manages but also reports on what the shingle output is each year and then there's also forecasts that go with that. So obviously last year was a very busy year of 2020 mm -hmm. and 2021 is expected to grow even more. I mean, we could, you could see 170 million squares of shingles Jeez. this year. Could yeah. be. I'm not, I'm not I, predicting. Yeah. I haven't seen any slowdown in building. No. I mean, it no, really seems like, like, sped up, like uh, yeah, multifamily, single home output is all still just All just the national cranking. builders are very busy. Yeah. Very busy. But one of the things I think is critical is you just can't plan for now. You got to think about what's next in your business and because this is going to pass. Mm -hmm. And so what we're doing now is not just crisis management, it's preparation for your future, Absolutely. right? Mm -hmm. And so technology has no concern about COVID. It has no concern about <laughs> allocation. It's going to go away at some point or another. And when it does, how well built are you as a contractor now to move your business on exactly so we're at beacon not trying to focus just on now but tools and procedures and processes and value to our contractors that will help them go on past this crisis because yeah. there's going to be another one at some point or another yeah, but you got to have the tools and the efficiencies in place to weather anything that you come up against yeah. and what adjustments are contractors yeah. making yeah. during this crisis in order to deal with future issues like this or wh whether it's a pandemic or whether it's something else you know contractors are, had to make adjustments i'm proud of our industry man yeah contractors yeah. really i i've seen oh, i would say zero contractors that have gone out of business right because of COVID. yeah everybody's adapted in fact if anything We're they've done bunch. more business yeah yeah absolutely it's been it's been a wild year guys and like i mean there's so many changes going on right now mm -hmm. in the industry that's you know it's it's really interesting to watch and what I, what i find really fascinating is you guys have this point of view that um even like us i almost feel like there's like kind of like this little pyramid of like our industry and we got vendors and then distrib distributions up here like looking down on the industry I, I like to see your guys's point of view on what you're seeing as major trends beyond just you know the covid stuff like there's always things happening like whether it be solar acquisitions whatever mm -hmm. else i mean what are some of the things that you guys are seeing that are kind of like, hey, this is catching our eye right now. I, I, you bring up solar. I think solar is a great topic because I, my crystal ball five years ago would have said, you know what? Maybe solar is just going to be more of a fad than anything. Mm, no. Solar is not. Solar is, is really continuing to grow by double digits year in and year out. Um, it's interesting. You know, there's there's a, some shortages there as well right now. Right. Um, so. But no, I, I think energy efficiency is going to continue to be very high on people's radars, not only uh, homeowners, but also uh, building owners. And it's, it's here to stay. I really believe that. And if you move past just products, I think you guys would share this in thought. Companies are really looking inward right now. I mean, these contractors are starting to look at their business from a different perspective. Oh, yeah. It's not to. just voice into me, it's what's coming out of me. And right. how am I building my business to sustain anything that comes my direction? I mean, 
if you say anything about COVID, that's caused an awareness in our lives like we've never had before, right? Or maybe in a long time. And so I think what we're seeing is guys going like, how do I re-engineer and reimagine and refocus ourselves on how we're gonna be different no matter what the situation is. So, you know, conferences like this and other people like Contractor Coach Pro and other folks are going like, start looking deep. You gotta get inside so that the outside will make changes, right? And so I think that re-engineering internally with these guys is critically important because it's allowing them to really understand their business better than they ever have before. Whether it's the math of it, the people of it, or whatever it is, it's just causing them to be better prepared because they're revisiting their entire companies individually. Well, and they got they got forced to, right? Uh, there's no a, there's a look, there was a there was a very punctuated need for evolution yeah. like that. Yeah. And we're, we're, we're not aware that that's coming, right? You don't know when nope. that thing's gonna hit. And generally, like, we've been watching technology just skyrocket, mm-hmm. okay? But our, our requirement to respond to it is, yeah. we're, we're okay. Like, we, we'll, we'll adapt as we go. Mm-hmm. And then a thing like COVID comes along and it's like, nope. Yeah. We have no choice. Nope, you go now. Yep, yeah. That's go. crazy to think about, though, how much things have changed in the last year. Well, yeah. how about training, right? I yeah. Mean, uh, all through COVID, the one thing that was a, was a constant was contractors were thirsty. They were starving for training. And the good news is companies like Contractor Coach Pro, the Catalyst Group, you know, you have, you have provided training for our contractors. And obviously, Beacon tried to do that as well. We've put on webinars. We're doing a couple webinars a month still to this day for contractors. Yeah, yeah. the 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 training The training component has shifted too because not only not only have have the platforms shifted, like from binders and books yeah. and, and slides. Right uh, now we've got these technological platforms like YouTube yeah. and LMSs that are online and recording and then building out. You know all these kind of components, and then you've got you know some of the some of the good old boys and i don't think i'm that far behind one of those guys who are like okay i don't i don't know how to use this technology <laughs> right. but my guys need to yep right so so all like from the bottom up everybody's having a complete mind shift john had to john had a commitment for a panel here at the event so he jumped out oh, to go, did. Okay. go honor his commitment so it's 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 just us three but all think right. about this how long 10 years ago when technology was a part of your life how much easier it is today to understand it. It's just, I mean, the metamorphosis that has occurred inside of online kind of life. Ease of use. It's exactly, it's use. just, pu- it's been forced to push to ha- making it easier. That's an, ama- that's an amazing concept too, because technology hasn't always, it's, it's never been more advanced right. as well as easier to use, right. which is, which is a, a wild thing to mm-hmm. think about. So tell me, you guys, like you guys dinosaur have like it. me. If I can use technology, <laughs> anybody can. Me too. You guys, uh, you guys have been talking a lot about technology, and I know Beacon's got this Beacon, you know, Pro Plus thing yep. that's been out for what three e-commerce years? four years four years. Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit about what that's doing for for your clients. Yeah, you know, uh, look, we wanted to be the Amazon of the distribution business. Truly, right. we wanted to make it easy for our contractors to order twenty four hours a day, seven days a week, and I think we've got that accomplished. Uh, the, the rise in usage with Pro Plus has been amazing. Right. Uh, it truly has, you know, I think we, we made it more user friendly. You know, we had, some, we had some things we had to change, some adjustments we had to make as well to make it easier for our contractors. Mm-hmm. You know, also, we also had integrations with software platforms right. that can go into Pro Plus. So we, we've, we have several of those now and we're continuing to add. Anybody we know? Mm, just a few. <laughs> Job Nimbus, yeah. right? Hover, yeah. Eagle View, yeah, yeah, it's been great. It's been great. And the cool thing is, it it, it really creates an ecosystem as a one stop shop for our contractors, yeah. right? So they don't have to go multiple places to really figure out what they've sold, where they've sold it, how they're going to. Cl- I mean, it's just all in that one spot, and that's been a real win for us. Yeah. Yeah. We, you literally can take an estimate, pick your platform, right. and run it through Pro Plus estimate to order. Yeah. Don't touch anything. It's all seamless. Man, I don't feel that old, but that makes me feel old. Like, I, I, I remember 
all of my measurements being written out on a Palm Pilot. Yeah. Which oh I, my gosh, yeah. Which I added up and then converted over <laughs> to my templated yeah. order forms, right? right? And that did not save me from tearing off the wrong roof. Yeah. 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 100% remember those things. Yeah. So. Well, guys, I really appreciate you being up sure. here, having Thank a chance you. to talk. Is there any uh, anything else we should cover or chat about that we should know about? Reg, you want to do a no, shout out I, to anybody? I, <laughs> we're just happy and thrilled that our contractors are moving forward yeah. and with guys like y'all and some of the things that we're doing it's enabling these guys to maintain some consistency and feed their families and their you know their employees and <clears throat> that's all we want to do is we want to assist them in building more that's the bottom line we want to be the easy button yeah, for the contractor absolutely. that's what beacon wants to be so for those of you out there yeah Beacon Nation, we love you, yep. and uh, we're going to make it easy for you, and we're going to continue to do the things that we need to do to help you bring back your business to uh, the highest levels uh, Absolutely. possible. So. Absolutely. All right, you heard it here, guys. There, I mean, volunteering to aid you with any questions that you have to help him out. If you're wondering about these technologies that they're that they're talking about for communication and education and um, and looking for help in your business. Don't forget about these people who are volunteering right. to be a resource. You bet. All right. Yeah. With the kind of backing and power that uh, Beacon has, um, they can help you in ways you probably don't even know about. Yeah. So, all right. Well, till next time, this has been uh, American Contractor Show with Beacon and Nathan. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching today's show. Make sure to like and subscribe our pages so that you can stay up to date with every episode. And by the way, this show is all about you, the American Contractor. Be sure to comment, let us know what you want to hear about and what subjects you want us to touch on. We'll be sure to include them in a future episode. Thanks again and I hope you have a great day.